What's going on? I'm Leezy the Gifted, and I'm going to show you how I produced my newest song, Looking At Me. So, the first thing I did was way different than what I usually do. I started with a piano. That's not it. I started with a piano to play my chords. I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to explain what I did. You can hear how deep it is. So what I wanted to do with that piano, that was kind of the foundation. I wanted to treat that like the bass, the sub bass, the 808, the low end. So instead of playing an 808 or a sub bass or a synth bass or an acoustic bass, I just used a piano and I played it way lower on the piano. And then I had, um, and then I had some accent notes. Which is the, this is kind of the main melody you hear. And they kind of go together, right? Then I had another instrument come in. And then, I kind of had these instruments, they're more airy. You know what I mean? A little more like atmospheric sounding. Right? And then the drums come in. So I did something a lot different with these drums. This isn't that conventional clap sound. This isn't that conventional clap sound. This is more of like a these ones come in you guys hear that so here let me just play these two see they kind of play off of each other and then the hi-hat comes in okay hold up had a quick technical difficulty this thing died using the tripod so the vocals right when I go uh, look the other way if you just want me gone like for that part like I was kind of trying to do like rock and roll -y sounding like I don't know I'm not, I don't know rock and roll that much but I've heard it a few times I've heard Trippy Red do it I've heard Lil Uzi sort of where you just have like that more grit in your vocals because I could have said look the other way if you just want me gone like I could have done it like that but I threw that grit into my vocals where I was like look the other way if you just want me gone like I did it more like that I'll show you it again look the other way if you just want me gone look the other way if you just want me gone I can see the way and then I throw doubles in there so at first it was just one vocal now it's got three total vocals there look the other way if you just want me gone Now this part right here, a couple of people told me they were like, this part sounds empty. You know, they were saying it just doesn't sound like, it sounds like there's something that's supposed to be there. To me, I wanted to leave that part empty full instrumental just because I just kind of liked the moment that it had. I don't know if it made sense to everybody, but it made sense to me, so I, so I kept it in. And then the verse comes in. Look the other way, I take it back. If you're gonna, I hope you make it back. Thinking about you while I make these tracks, hope you rise. And so like, my whole thing is I'm trying to combine auto-tune singing vocals like in that hook with rap. That's kind of what I'm trying to do because I like both those styles and sometimes I'll have songs that's just straight rap. Like if you heard my last song, Pipeline, that's kind of more rap and then I'll have songs that is, that's mostly singing. Um, I can't think of any songs I've done like that but like I have a song called Gotta Go where it's just singing the whole time. But sometimes I want to combine so... Put the other way memories with a vast ocean and then it comes in and I have one little vocal come in. It would have been the last motion. Memories with a vast ocean. Hey. Hit the cliffs. That's hard side. And I wanted to try and keep the verse minimal when it came to the instruments. So I just have the D piano and the regular piano. Shout out squad, it's prime time. Shout out Frankie for the guidelines. Yeah. So I did that. I came back in with the hook after that. And then the second verse, which is sort of more like a bridge, I want to break that down. 
So, so hook just finished up. Now we're going into that bridge. Listen. I'll play a little bit of it for you and then I'll show you what I was doing. So what I did was, so there's this thing you can do in Logic where you can take a file or a bunch of tracks and like mesh them together. It's called bounce in place. You mesh them together and then you can do hella crazy stuff with it. So what I did was I took all the instruments from the hook. So I took these instruments, all these melodic instruments, bounced them in place, AKA meshed them together into one file and then I reversed it. So this is what that sounds like. Sounds, it's reversed, right? And I know that I got that from Drake. I know a lot of Drake's old songs really did that. I know Nav, he kind of does that where he reverses stuff. I like the way it sounds. And of course you throw the auto-tune vocals with it. Then I have some drums come in. Right? Kind of starts building up, right? More drums come in, right here. But I wanted to throw this one instrument too. It's a guitar mixed with a pad. Oh, don't that sound nice? So I have that come in as well. See if you can hear it. I wanted to make this like epic and anthem-like, but trippy at the same time. That's what I was going for here. Then I'm on, real to the bone, never gonna change. Breakdown for the last hook. It's a moment. Listen. Boom, and then we come crashing in for the last hook. Oh. So I wanted to break a little more down for that second verse. It's way different. Like I was trying to make it like a bridge, but in my head I was like, this is verse two, but I really made it more like a bridge. There's space, right? Where I rap. They don't want me to look no more. Like I do that. But then I don't continue to rap and sing. I let the space happen. And then I come back in, right? Again, when I come back in, been on my own, real to the bone, never gonna change, you should've known. In my head, I was like, all right, that's four bars, or two bars, I don't know. In my head as a rapper, I'm like, okay, I need to have more bars. But as a producer songwriter, I was like, why don't I just repeat that again? Why do I have to keep writing more? Just have those repeat. Right, and then I do it again. Try to make it sound more like like a chant, like anthem, right? And then I don't know if you notice this, but of course there's harmony vocals here. Oh, 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 oh. A lot of reverb, right? Just, just me humming. And it's like I use my vocals as an extra instrument in that case. So. I got this song done pretty quick. I mean, I, I made the beat, I made the beat, I wrote the hook, and then I actually sat, actually, I actually sat on the song for quite a long, quite a while. But then I was like, okay, let's get back to it. I wrote the first verse, then I, then that second verse, I wrote the first verse, sat on it again. Then the second verse, when I came into it, I was like, I'm gonna make the second verse way different. I wanted to have a way different switch up. You feel what I'm saying? Um, 
And this song really, like, when it came to the mixing and mastering, honestly, it was easy. Like, I was really, this was one of those songs where mixing and mastering came really easy because I was so into it and I felt like I kind of knew what I was going for. Sometimes I have songs that take longer to mix and master just because it's like, I'm not really sure if it's, if it's exactly in the direction I want. Regardless, this one was dope. And I think, like, to me, this is one of my favorite songs I've ever done because it has, like all the elements that I want. It's got a it's got a melodic catchy hook. It's got real rapping in there where I'm really like giving everything. I'm really rapping with a lot of passion and then second verse or bridge is like a total switch up. So instead of hook verse hook verse hook or like conventional style, it's like hook verse hook bridge hook. So instead of having two rapping verses Coming from a rapping background that I come from, it's always like there's so much emphasis on the rap, writing real rap, and you rarely gotta get in there and give them bars and all that. There are songs for that, but then there's songs where I wanna make a completely different song, a completely different vibe, and that's what I was trying to go for here. I've heard artists do this, but I've never been able to do it, and I feel like I was able to do it better. Things that I could have done better overall in the song, you know, my man Corey Wallace told me you could have had more instruments, you could have had a, a, a bigger sound, you could have made this more of a smash pop hit. You, I just, it, he felt like it was underproduced. I kind of agree, I think that there could have been more to the song, I could have done a lot more, but it's this song is perfect the way it is to me, I love the way it sounds, and I'm gonna take what Corey said and incorporate that to my, to my upcoming song. So, thank you so much for watching if you've gotten this far in the video it really means a lot to me um, of course don't forget like this video subscribe to my youtube channel i'm putting out more youtube videos like this and i want to start teaching more i want to teach artists more about like marketing and i want to teach producers more about how to produce music you know i know piano i know mixing mastering i know how to make beats i know how to write lyrics i know how to record i feel like i could add some value to your to your studio so if you have questions or if you want to hear certain things from me, let me know. Like if you think, oh, I want to learn how to do that bouncing in place thing or I want to learn how to mix a certain way, let me know and I'll, and I'll make videos about it. But for now, I'm doing these and I'll try and come up with some more instructional videos, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.